Hey guys, it's Rebecca Verstadt. It is probably 2.30 in the morning. I have been wearing this makeup since about 10 o'clock this morning. So it's been on for over 12 hours. I'm gonna be testing out these Co Gen Do Cleansing Spa Water Makeup Wipes because I've been wearing my makeup so long. And I know that this dark brown eyeshadow from the Butter London eyeshadow palette is kind of difficult to get off. So I figured why not test these out. This is my very first time ever using these. I haven't tried them out. So if my face breaks out, then that's my fault for not testing them. They don't really smell like anything. And usually like things like my cellar waters and stuff like that burn my skin. So we will see. I'm gonna do like my cheek area first and then we will see how I feel after that. I'm not really wearing a whole lot of makeup, just blush bronzer. Concealer, corrector, and eye makeup. So, blush and bronzer are gone. Let's see what it does with the brows. So far, no burning, no irritation. That's great. Oh, that's cool. You can even see the shimmer in the on the cloth. That's kind of neat. So it took everything off. I don't think, I might have a little bit of mascara left under my eyes, but I'm fixing to get a shower anyways. So I took all of my makeup off, which I'm not surprised about or anything, but I've never really, the last time I used a makeup removing cloth, it was from um, Garnier Fertis and my face was on fire. I mean, literally my face was on fire. So I'm going to hop in the shower and wash my face in there. And there's still a little bit of mascara left on my eyes. Um, I will do a recap part of this tomorrow morning when I get up because I am tired. Like I said, it's about 2.30 in the morning. So I've been awake since five o'clock yesterday morning. So we're slowly encroaching on being awake for 24 hours yet again for me, so. I will see you guys in the morning. Have a great, well, I will see you guys in a bit. Bye. Hey guys, it's Rebecca. So I wanted to do an update on this product um, since it is the next day after I've used it. I wanted to talk about, I did look at some of the reviews on this product and it talked about how dry these felt or how scratchy they were. So I wanted to kind of get into that with this product. Um, with the makeup that I was wearing yesterday, I had had it on for hours, like hours and hours. So, um, it was not only dealing with corrector and concealer, it was dealing with blush, bronzer, highlight, mascara, and a very richly pigmented eyeshadow palette. So I had difficulty getting the eyeshadow palette off my, off my skin the, um, last time that I used it, like I washed my face um, in the shower, not once, but twice. And then when I got out, I was still wearing some of the eyeshadow. That stuff is like super richly pigmented. And it's the Butter London one that I got in my, you know, my BoxyCharm, where this came from. So I knew that that shadow was difficult to get off to start with. 
And so I knew that that would be a really good test to see what these cloths could do. I have very dry skin, very sensitive skin. I have acne prone skin and a lot of things irritate my skin. They break me out. They cause me to have really bad reactions to it. So when I was looking at the product this morning when I first got up, before I, I you know, wrote my review on BoxyCharm site, one second, um, then I was seeing all these people talking about how dry they were or how scratchy they felt on the skin. I didn't have any of that. I, I don't really use makeup wipes to remove my makeup at all. I don't own any. This is literally the only ones that I own. Um, are they scratchy? I mean, no more scratchy than an actual washcloth. Um, were they damp enough to remove my makeup? They certainly were. Were they soaking wet? No. They were kind of like less um, moist than a diaper wipe, like a, you know, a baby wipe. So it wasn't as moist as one of those, but it was moist enough to take off my makeup and remove my makeup and still have enough moisture left on it to like go back over my face. and. If I wanted to, I could have flipped it over to the side that didn't have makeup residue on it and used it again to remove like an entirely other makeup look. So I think that when people are talking about the amount of moisture in a product, I mean, if you really are worried about something like that, then take something like a cap or a lid off of another product and put a, you know, a tablespoon or whatever of water in it dump it in you know dump it in the pack and you know squish it around so that you have more moisture on these and then your product is a little bit more wet it might dilute it just a little bit but at least the water would be dispersed throughout the product and you wouldn't have to worry about it being dry so that's just my first impression review of these products there are 10 wipes in here this retails for 17 dollars uh, according to what boxycharm says I will leave the information for these wipes down in the description box for where you can buy them or check them out or look at the ingredients. I mean, the ingredients on here are, are pretty straightforward. There, I don't really see anything in here that I would have an issue with. And there's quite a few extracts in here between rosemary, sage, ginger, lavender. So there's some, some pretty really like really helpful skin ingredients in here. Um, so I will do more research on these as well. I will look up the um, ingredients and do like a breakdown for it. So when I do like a recap video when I get done using these or when I'm like halfway done using them, uh, then I will do more of an in-depth review and break down some of the actual ingredients that are listed in this product at the same time. So hopefully this first impression review of the Cogendo Cleansing Spa Water Makeup Removing Wipes is helpful for you if it is please give this video a like, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried any Cogendo products because I'm interested in trying more of them. Um, they are a little bit pricey for me, but you know, if I can get things like this and subscription services, that's definitely a plus for me. So anyways, I'm Rebecca Oberset and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.